Okay, so now we're gonna code our insert method. And like I said, we're gonna pick up right where we left off in the last video. So I'm just gonna take these notes and move them to the bottom and put the code in at the top. So we're gonna start out with insert and we're gonna pass this a value. And then we're gonna start working through our list. So first thing is to create a node. We do that like this. And now we can remove this from the list. The next thing, if root is equal to null, then root equals new node. That is this situation where root is null. In other words, we have an empty tree and we set root equal to the new node and we do it like this. Now remember, we have to have a return in there because if this is the case, we don't wanna run any more code in here. So now that is done and we can remove that item from the list. So then we set our variable temp. We don't need to make any changes to this. We can just put this right in like that. And then we go into our while loop. So for our while loop, we're going to say while true. So this is always going to be true and keep running unless it hits a return statement. That's how we'll break out of this while loop. So we'll remove this. Then we can say if the new node equals temp, return undefined. That is this situation where we're trying to insert a node that is the same value as a node that we already have in the tree. So we'll do that like this. And we'd have to say dot value in this case, because we are comparing the values, new node dot value if it equals temp dot value. At any time, as we're iterating through this tree, we're gonna return undefined. And we'll remove that. And then we have this part. This is where it gets interesting. If it's less than, we go left, else if it's greater than, we go right. So we have to have an if statement that's gonna start with one or the other. I'm gonna start with left. If new node.value is less than temp.value, and what I'm gonna do is this is where we're gonna to have to build out quite a bit of code here, and I'm gonna focus in on this if statement and remove the rest of the code for now. So I'll move this up here so we have more room. And this other if statement here is really nested inside of this if statement. We're gonna say if it's less than, we go left, and then, then we have to look to see if that spot is open or not. So it's really a nested if statement. And so now that we understand that, I'm gonna remove this, and then we'll just build out the code. So since we are starting out with the less than, in other words, we're gonna to go to the left, I wanna start with a tree where everything is open to the left. And I'm gonna bring in a new node. I'm gonna point temp to that 47 node. So now if you look at the if statement, we have new node dot value, and we're comparing this against temp dot value, which is 47, which means that we're going to go left. So there's two options. Either that spot is open, like that, and we're done, or it's not open. So we're gonna assume to begin with that this is open. And we'll say if temp.left equals null, which means that it's open, we're gonna set temp.left equal to the new node like that, and then we'll return this, which returns the entire tree. And we have to have a return statement here because once we insert this, we have to be done running code. Now, if that is not open, and it's like that, we're gonna set temp equal to temp dot left, which moves temp down to there. And we do the whole process again. So in this case, temp dot left does equal null, and we would put that right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna move temp back up to the top and we'll write the code for doing something on the right. 
and I'm also going to just move that tree over a little bit so we have a little room to work over there. And we're going to say else, and this else would be it's not on the left, so it's on the right. And I'm just going to remove that 82 node from the tree over there, and we can see what it's like to insert something where all of the decisions are going to go to the right. And it's going to be just the reverse of what we did above. So just like we had above, either there's a node there to the right of the 47, or there isn't. So the code is going to be very similar. We're just going to say if temp.write is null, in this case it is null, we're going to make temp.write equal to the new node. And then we'll return this because we have placed that. Otherwise, we have items there, and we need to say temp equals temp dot write and move temp down. So in this case, we will run the while loop again, and then we'll say temp dot write equals null, and then finally place that there. Okay, so that is all of the hard code for this method. Okay, so let's remove our tree like this. So now let's walk through what we're doing when we run through this code. We're going to say, is the new node less than the node that we're comparing it to? If it is less than, we are either going to insert this because the next spot is open, or we're going to have to move to the left, which is going to cause us to run through the entire while loop again else it's greater than and we're either going to insert this on the right or we're going to have to move to the next node on the right and go through the entire while loop again so let's take a look at this code with the rest of the code in the while loop and remember there was an if statement that we already put in there i'm going to bring all this back in here that top if statement was for the situation where the new node was equal to something we already had in the tree. So now let's take this while loop and look at it with the rest of the code for the method. And that is our entire insert method. So we'll look at this code in a moment in DevTools and we will build this tree then we're going to insert a node with the value of 27 right there. So when we insert this, we'll be able to start at the head at 47, go to the left, go to the 21, go to the right, and that node should be there. Okay, so let's flip over to DevTools. And there is our insert method. And then I'll just scroll up a little bit like this. This will build our tree, and in this spot right here is where the 27 would have gone, but we'll insert that separately here in a moment. I'm just going to run this, and then I'm going to open this binary search tree. So we start at the root with the value of 47 there. Let's open this and left is 21 and right is 76, just like we had in the diagram. And you can see that when we open up the 21, the left node points to the value of 18, but right is pointing to null. That is that open spot. So I'm gonna clear this. And I will say mytree.insert with the number 27, like that. And that returns our entire tree. So let's open this up. The root is 47. You can see to the left is that 21 node. We'll open up this 21 node. And now the 21 points to 18 on the left and 27 on the right. So that is our method for insert.